Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Wednesday, July 3rd, 2019. I am the Drunk Poker Who Tis Beer Time. So we, we had a fun day today in, in Toronto, East and West End. Um, so we're going to start with the beer from the, the, West, the, East, the East End because, well, it was the coldest beer because as you drive home, you know, the stuff you picked up earlier in the day took a little longer, it warmed up a little bit. So I always think i got to remember to bring the, bring the cooler with us next time. Mm -hmm. Summertime beer runs, bring your cooler. Not that anything got warm, just not as cold as I would like to drink it. So our stop of Muddy York, as always, yields many treats, many great beers, many returning beers, many year-round beers like the Hellish Lager, uh, working twice as hard, double IPA collab with uh, Muddy York and our friends at Beer Diversity Ren there. Of course, the Haberdashery Hefeweizen, one of my favorites, working hard. And, well, uh, a nice lager there, the historical lager. Uh, looking forward to trying that one because you guys know me and a lager or a Pilsner right now. Just feeling that love. But what I wanted to start with, and one of my favorite series now, there's a few brewers that do these. Muddy York does it very, very well. Single hop, single malt, so smash. Single malt, single malt, single hop. Beers, uh, Sriracha Ace Pale Ale, 5.4%, 20 IBUs, 100% Sriracha Ace Hops. Um, this is a brilliant idea because what it does is it allows you as a beer drinker to experience what the hop is about. And that's fun because when you drink beers and you learn what the hops taste like individually, when you drink a beer that has, say, multiple hops, that you can try and pick out those flavors to see, hey, what, did they use a lot of Sriracha Ace, which is a big part of it. So for me, I really enjoy these styles of beer. <sighs> Jeff does them better than most, <laughs> as always. Um, it's always such a pleasure to go over there and visit, too. They're just such good people. Um, everybody works in the tap room. Jeff and Susan set the bar very high when it comes to, you know, how they treat people that come in their brewery, how they want the, their brewery to be. And it's a very welcoming space to anybody that walks in that door, and I love it. We see it every time from people who come there every day to people who drop by once in a while like us to new, brand new people. They're always welcoming, and it's nice to see as a, a, a business owner and more importantly, because, you know, we love craft beer so much and we love Muddy York so much. So it's so always love to see people get their, that surprise. But uh, let's get into this. So the one thing I do know about Sriracha is talking at the brewery was that it, dill. Um, lime and dill. So I can smell that dill right off the top. Let's get into it. Cheers. So the base of this beer, the pale ale, is a very nice pale ale. Lightly toasted cracker malt body. Um, a very good expressionable place to put a single hop to let it shine through so it's not being overtaken by the malt. Um, Sriracha Ace is a dry, citrusy, um, definitely like a lemon, lime, and dill. Not a lot of dill. I think the thing is, you, you, because you're not used to having that kind of flavor in your beer, when you can identify, you're like, oh, dill, I get it, I feel you. So nice touch of sweetness there too. It's just a nice beer. Anyways, that's fun. See again, beer should be fun. This is a fun beer because it allows me to explore a hop I don't know how of a lot about. That's you know edumacation. Edumacation is important. Beer edumacation. Uh, you can take some of those Cicerone or Prudhomme courses. I, I think they're they're good for people. Um, and you can you know explore on your own, which is also fun. So until later, my friends. Cheers. Catch you on the other side. Dilly dilly.